Hello and welcome to the video lesson for formatting your research paper into APA format. You will have either now or shortly this assignment in your uh, Google Classroom or Senior Project. It's Senior Project Research Paper Final. This is where you'll attach your final formatted research paper. Now this video is going to discuss how you get your what you've got so far into this. So what you should have is either on paper or um, in this digital organizer, you've got all of your content. Now if you wrote yours on paper, you're just going to go ahead and type it up and that will be pretty straightforward. But if you did a, um, a digital copy, I'm going to show you something to make your life just a little bit easier as you're working on that. So if you go ahead and you make this uh, a smaller tab, you can move it to the corner. And then you'll notice that you can also grab this, put this on the other corner. And that way you can look at both of these at the same time and make your life just a little bit easier. So as with the last one, you have a, an example of what that formatting looks like. So you're going to need to delete the example. Once again, you're going to need to delete the example. And so you would start by adding in your introduction, you're defining the issue paragraph, etc. But all I've typed up for this example video is my body paragraph, so we're going to do that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to control C, I'm going to control V, and I'm going to grab my next sentence for my organizer, control C, control V, oopsie. Let's see if it will let me paste without formatting. There we go. And so notice this is not a format, uh, I mean it's not a paragraph the way it's formatted, so you will need to get rid of that extra space. And you will need to make sure that you tab in for your for your paragraphs. Now remember, you will need to tab in for your paragraphs. The tab button is at the top left hand of your keyboard. The tab button is at the top left hand of your keyboard and you will need to tab in. So I'm going to finish grabbing. Just control Z, come in over here, paste without formatting. Again, grabbing the next section from here, copying, paste without formatting. Notice how sometimes it gets a little wonky and I'm just going to go ahead and hit space or um, or erase as necessary to make sure that this is formatted properly like a paragraph. And I'm going to also need to make sure that I don't accidentally skip any sections and accidentally leave out part of my paragraph. So you're going to want to double check and take this slowly uh, just to make sure that you, you don't forget anything. So notice here it didn't save my space after the period so I'm going to need to save this space. Now you'll know that this is not APA format right here. You'll know that what you need to do is that you need to highlight this. We'll full screen this again real quick. You're going to highlight this. You're going to go to format, line spacing, double. You could also go here to this format here and select double there, but regardless it needs to be double spaced. So now everything from here on out is going to be the same regardless of if you typed your um, typed your organizer if you're your organizer by hand because you've put your organizer content in here. Keep in mind that your organizer should produce five pages of your writing. So ultimately this will be a seven page document, but it should produce five pages of your writing if you followed it properly and given the appropriate amount of detail. If you don't have five pages, you are responsible for um, for adding more detail and explanation as necessary to make sure you reach those five pages. If you've got questions about that or need specific advice, please just email me. So these references are actually going to come from your annotated bibliography. These are the APA format citations from your annotated bibliography. So you'll go into your annotated bibliography that you wrote. Let's move this back here. You'll go into the annotated bibliography that you wrote, Senior Project Annotated Bib. You'll grab your citations from here and you'll go ahead and you'll add them here. So you'll add those citations right in here. Now you'll notice uh, you'll, you've received a grade on the annotated bibliography rubric for your citations. If you did not get full credit for your citations, that means that there's something incorrect with your citations and you will need to fix those and address those uh, before putting those APA citations here. Now, if you have questions about that, you should definitely ask me, but you've also got all the resources and materials you need to double check those citations. You will need to make sure that you do have the citations accurate for this assignment as that is part of your grade here, is having these correct citations, same as it was part of your grade for the annotated bibliography. So if you lost points of the annotated bib, you should learn from your mistake and make sure you don't lose those points again here. So now that's all the content. All the content you've added in, you've got five pages of your writing here. Now you need to make sure it's formatted properly. So we need a short to the point title. Universal dog ownership is going to be mine. Okay. 
just in three or four words what your thing's about, what your topic's about, and then you're going to have like a longer title that gives your reader a little more detail about what you're going to be talking about. So for mine, since I'm arguing that everyone should own a dog, I'm going to say something here to explain why everyone needs to own a dog to let my reader have an idea of what they're about to read. So remember, your your title is going to give your reader some invite, some kind of idea about what they're going to be reading. Now your short title, remember that first bit, you're going to change your running head to have that short title. Notice that it's in all caps, your short title is in all caps and running head is lowercase. You're going to need to make sure you keep that the same, don't change that. So I'm going to write up here, universal dog ownership. So notice how it messed up my formatting a little bit. I'm just going to need to hit backspace and fiddle with that just a little bit until that number one is back in the right corner. Now notice the second page is different. The numbering and the formatting is different. So I'm going to need to go ahead and also edit that second page. You will not need to do anything for your third, fourth, and fifth pages, but you will need to go on the second page to change the header for the remaining pages. Once again, that's just that short title again in all caps. And remember that formatting is a is a sizable portion of your senior project grades. So you will need to make sure that you are making that you are hitting all of these different formatting issues within your senior project. And again, that short title is going to go here. Oopsie, here as well. Oh goodness, I must have capital lock on. Okay, universal dog ownership. Okay, so I've gone through and I've added my my short title everywhere. So now all I have left for my formatting is just adding my name. My name's Brittany Hayes. Then you'll add your teacher name. This is where it should be the same. It should be Miss Hayes. So for the name, you put your name here. Then you put my name here. And then you put the due date. Remember, you spell that date out. So it's going to be November 13, 2020. Remember, you spell that date out. With that, you have a formatted research paper. Remember, same thing as the annotated bibliography. You've got everything you need to be successful. Now notice, I come down here and I notice it's really messed up my formatting because it's centered it. So make sure I'm gonna push that back left a line and that also made me notice that maybe my spacing's not quite right with that. So now I fixed it, it's left aligned. My title is center aligned. My content is left aligned, okay? Make sure that is the case for your paper. Notice how, um, Sometimes when you're working through things, it can it can change your formatting. Just make sure you go through and double check that. Remember that this is double spaced. This reference pages will actually end up being your seventh page because notice that your paper starts on page two. And so pages two, three, four, five, six are those five pages of your research paper. Now my next paragraph would start here, okay? Each paragraph does not receive its own page. Your paragraphs will begin one immediately below the next. Additionally, you will not have any additional spaces, no extra spaces between paragraphs. No extra spaces at all between paragraphs, okay? You go straight from paragraph to paragraph to paragraph. No extra spaces between paragraphs. Again, if you want me to review this for you, what you'll do is you'll hit share. You'll add it, share it with me. So I'll just share it with, um, I'll share it with our, ah, our senior project coordinator. Sorry about that. So let's share it with our senior project coordinator. You should share it with me. And I'm going to add a message to make sure you see this. So I'm going to say, hi, Miss Hayes. This is my complete rough draft. Please let me know when you have left feedback. Thank you. Okay. So then you'll send that. You would hit send. I don't want to bother Miss Summerlin with this email, so I'm not. And I want you to change it from editor to commenter. I only want to be a commenter on yours. I don't want to edit yours. I just want to leave you feedback. Do remember when you get feedback from me, and you'll notice that if you scroll a little bit, when you can see the whole comment box, you'll see where there's a check mark or an X. If you hit a check mark, it automatically makes the change for you. When you accept the change, it makes the change for you. It makes a little less work for you. So I do recommend that when I leave you a recommendation, that you accept that recommendation. Now, this is 
as you're working on your own paragraphs, this is a little too small for a body paragraph. If this was a real research paper, I'd need to dig in and add a lot more analysis to this to this body paragraph, or maybe even add another quote to this body paragraph. Because this, for a body paragraph, is not going to get me to the five pages that I need. So you'll, I'll add more analysis. Maybe I'll add another quote. This is why you have quote storage to be able to help you more here. If you have questions about analysis, you can go ahead and always ask me, but you've got all the materials you need to be successful here, and now you're at the stage where all you got to do is format it and turn it in. Remember, I talked to you about how to share it with me so that you can have me look over it. If you want me to review it and leave you feedback, you will need to email me. It's even better if you send me an email in addition to go ahead and sharing, in addition to sharing it with me. Once again, if you can't see it now, you will see it shortly where you'll have the senior project research paper. I will add the rubric in here and share it with all of my classes here shortly so that you've got the rubric. That rubric will once again be available here. And as always, that rubric is also available when you go down to your senior project manual. You see the Columbia County Senior Project Manual. You scroll and 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 you scroll. And you scroll, scroll. Research paper rubric. And there it is. You can see your rubric right there, okay? So once again, it's page 14 of the Senior Project Manual. You'll see uh, this rubric in the assignment as well. I think that addresses everything that I needed to address with you. You have uh, the example of what this should look like. Once again, you've got this format for you to be able to edit inside of the assignment for Google Classroom. And do keep in mind, when you look at the at this content and organ... Da, 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 da. So this is content. This is the stuff that you wrote in your organizer. This is grammar documentation so format 20 whole points of this is your formatting 20 whole points of this is your formatting okay make sure you have formatted correctly okay if you've got any questions once again shoot me an email hopefully you found this video to be helpful and i believe that you can do this Bye bye